Hi, this is Steve with iReady Support, and today I want to talk about sound on an iPad. There are many reasons for sound issues to occur with an iPad. In this video, I'll talk about some of the most common reasons and how to fix them. First, we always want to make sure our volume is turned up at a level in which we can hear iReady. We're going to go ahead and turn this up to about three quarters of the way. Next, if using a pair of headphones, it's important to ensure they are connected properly before logging into iReady. Once the headphones are plugged in, they shouldn't be unplugged or disconnected or played with in any way during an iReady lesson. This can cause sound to stop working while in the lesson. And last, sound may not be heard if silent mode is turned on the iPad. Let's see how to make sure that it's disabled. To make sure silent mode is disabled, we want to pull down from the upper right hand corner or pull up from the bottom, depending on your iPad model, to display the control center. Next, we want to look for the icon that looks like an alarm. Here we can see that silent mode is enabled given that the alarm icon looks red. If we tap on it, that goes away and now silent mode is disabled. That should take care of most of the sound issues with iReady. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For additional support information, go to www.i-ready.com forward slash support. There you will find options on how to contact our support team as well as helpful resources such as our system requirements and system check.